need splash pads that would cool children down in playgrounds in the summer. Uh, and we like uh, reliving our, our old memories every now and again. Some some would say too much, but not us. Well, you know. Live in the past and fear the future. That's my motto. Now, Matthew, you reminded me of one story from Vortex uh, where, I guess conveniently, I was the victim of the water and I was uh, not... Not as, uh, I wasn't loving it as much as the kids who enjoy the splash pads do. No, no, they turned what you did and they turned it against you. Basically, yeah. Yeah. What happened to you, Sebastian? What, what do you need to vent about? Well, I was, I was, uh, we were, we were in the factory on a hot summer day and, uh, I believe it was my last, one of our last days there for the summer. It was just a summer job. And, uh, I was bamboozled, fooled into going outside the factory on the side and uh, I just got hosed down. They hosed me down with water, and I got so frustrated by it that I was within inches of <laughs> destroying my boss's uh, a, a side view mirror uh, of his car. <laughs> so hold hold on now. The, the, their idea of a farewell send off is to hose you down like a like uh, like a dirty elephant, <laughs> like Rambo. Uh, yeah, sure. Rambo at the uh, first blood. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like Rambo first blood. Yeah, yeah. That's a degrading. I was not too happy about it. I mean, I don't mind getting wet if I'm headed home, but in the middle of your day to just get hosed. Yeah, you got hosed you, real bad. You just wet for the rest of the day. And now, Matthew, you also reminded me of what I did instead of destroying this uh, side mirror. Yes, instead of destroying public pro not public property, instead of destroying Private personal. Property private property you know slashing tires kicking in windows mm-hmm. i don't know what you were going to do um yeah you 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 took a much meeker approach yes you reminded me i forgot all about this my my new plan was to go now that i was soaking wet i was going to repay my boss by sitting in his office chair and getting that office chair all wet and then i took it a step further and unplugged his computer and unplugged every other plug to do with his computer I just undid all the plugs. His mouse yeah. was no longer plugged in. His keyboard was no longer plugged in. Very dangerous work uh, when you're soaking wet, by the way. I suppose that's that's a good point. <laughs> no, I'll never forget the, the sight of you just wriggling around in an office chair trying to get all your wet off. <laughs> um, but, you see, I think the joke was on you in the end. <laughs> yeah, because Even you still. undid my revenge. <laughs> well, I did plug everything back in. Um <laughs> But he had also left for the day, I'm pretty sure. I think he took an early day off, so he never <sighs> even got to sit in the wet seat. Yeah, I'm sure it was all dry by the morning. Yeah, and probably a little cleaner. Yeah. Oh. And that's been another Tales from, from the Vortex. Vortex. Oh, it sounds like uh, we've got another caller on the line. Uh, hello, caller. Yeah, it's Dane again. Oh. Just in case I wasn't clear, that's uh, www.gofundme slash whores for Tavares. That's capital H double O. R S four the number four Tavares T A V A R E S. We'll take all your monies. Uh, th- thanks, thanks for calling back, Dean. You're you're welcome. You're welcome. Horse for Tavares, guys. Sebastian, you know something I can never get enough of. What was that, Matthew? Repeats. I love repeats, and in today's world of no repeats, everybody wants to put new, fresh content up on televisions and. It's just, you never get to see the classics, the things you want to watch again. There's a certain comfort in the rerun where you're like, oh, I've seen this one before. I know how this goes. I will still sit back and enjoy. Yeah. So, you know, the world may be changing, but Kadone Janka Wednesdays at Lunch Burger Edition, we're throwing another clip package at you. Aside from that, there's not too many redeeming qualities about this place. I no. walked in and the place is, it's, it seems like a, if, why would you have white tiles and mostly white walls if you're never going to clean the damn place. Because <laughs> the place is filthy. The seats, even though this place only opened like three years ago, maybe, um, in this location, everything looks like it's been there for fucking 20 years and has had no upkeep whatsoever. Yeah. Um, the place looks so ramshackle. It's, it's disgusting and uh, unappealing to eat there. I've very rarely seen more than like one single person there at a time. Uh, while we were there, we there were, while we were there, ordered our meal, ate our meal. Only two other people were there. One got food to go, and one had food sitting there. 
And I feel like that that's part of it. There's only people going there alone because they don't want to be judged for eating this shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, uh, there was one other guy too. He was delivering light bulbs. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, there was a guy delivering light bulbs. Who else? <laughs> we overheard while we were waiting for our order. Pretty sure we heard wrong because someone else was placing an order. But it was like, uh, "What you don't want, cat?" <laughs> um, I think. <laughs> and so either it was like, "No, we always use cat." You don't want cat? What is that? Or it was that he said can, and he was talking about like a can of Pepsi or something. <laughs> I like to imagine it was cat, though. I think it's more fun to, to pretend that like cat is part of their usual uh, uh, burger patty. And it's like, what, you don't want cat? No cat? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to make new patty. Do horseback riding. Would you want to do horseback riding if I said in two weeks, let's go horseback riding? Or you just don't like it? Because maybe that's it. Maybe you just don't like surprises. I'm thinking you <laughs> that are involved with horseback riding. Uh, no, I've gone horseback riding before, and I'd, it's been a long time. And I'd like to again, but I feel like I'd be very antsy about it. Like, yeah. it's been so long that I'd I'd need to wade in and, like, uh, maybe ride one of those little ponies for a while first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even one of those, like... A like, fat little pony. Maybe, like, start off with a little quarter uh, slot. A yeah, start, toy start. Uh, in the mall. <laughs> Start up. with one of those, yeah, or like a a, a, a merry-go-round, oh, and then the work my way up to like a, a you know a, a, a fat pony, <laughs> and then maybe a donkey, and then maybe a stallion. Oh wow, donkey to stallion! Yeah, the Sebastian story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> donkey to stallion, the Sebastian story. It's been a couple hours. This burger's shit. This whole establishment shit. Their chicken wings are shit. Their fries are shit. I've had their subs. They aren't good. There's nothing good about this place. Buffalo Bills, it's a piece of shit. I'm sorry to be swearing so much. Matthew, you got to bleep out a lot of this stuff. Yeah. You're going to have a tough time uh, uh, editing this one. But it's just... Don't order from this place. Don't go into this place. Don't Just don't do it unless you feel like having a shameful meal where you're going to eat alone in the dark um, and uh, hope that no one looks at you. Because that's how everyone else looked that was eating there. The yeah. two, one person to go, one person there to stay. It was just like, please don't look at me. This is a shame meal. <laughs> and it is a shame. Buffalo Bills should have better food. They should be run better. They shouldn't be such a goddamn filth hole. I got nothing good to say about this except that they didn't poison me. Well, that's saying something. Now, this seems like a good a time as any to announce we're our first ad uh, from <laughs> Buffalo Bills. <laughs> Buffalo Bills. Call 514-948-4444. Uh, locations <laughs> at uh, St. Jacques, uh, LaSalle, Queen Mary, Chateauguay, Pierrefond, and Laurence uh, Boulevard de Laurence Ed. 65 cents each uh, for the wings every Monday. That's Buffalo Bill Wings. 948-4444. Let Bill into your home. <laughs> oh, God, don't. He'll probably filth up your home, too. He's going he's gonna to throw you in a well in his basement, and he's going to harvest your skin. <laughs> <laughs> so my... I don't know if you know this, uh, but my father-in-law and, and uh, Sebastian are neighbors, and they get along really well. Mm-hmm. And um, my father-in-law calls me at work one day, and he thinks he's having a heart attack. And I'm, he's like, you got to come get me. <laughs> we got to go to the hospital. I, I, you know, you can laugh now because he's fine. But <laughs> he's had a heart attack before. It's really bad. I'm like, Leonard, why, why, why don't you just call an ambulance? Like, i got to take the metro, get my car, all that. He's like, can't take ambulance. Don't want to end up at Verdun Hospital. Because <laughs> I guess he knows how bad it is there. So I was like, all right, I, just give me a second. I'll figure this out. And so I called Sebastian. I thought, all right, Sebastian, you got to go get him. He's, he's in trouble. And I, you know, Seba went and got him. And, and you know, I really appreciated it. And I, I, I thought it was such a sweet thing. You know, he, and then later I found out he took a shower first. <laughs> this guy could be dying. <laughs> And Seba's like, well, I don't want him to think I'm a slob. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something to do with him thinking of himself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 
<laughs> and like, so it was, as it turns out, it wasn't a heart attack. His no. appendix burst. No. But, yeah. uh, which is pretty bad, too. So, so, <laughs> so yeah, Tito, Tito, you called me at a pretty opportune time. It, I was uh, right, right at the tail end of my 45 minutes of waking up. So I was like, yeah, pretty much ready to get up now. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> really, would have you would have died. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, yeah, I, you called me. I said, okay, sure. Jumped up, hopped in the shower. I took a quick shower. <laughs> a quick 20 minute <laughs> shower. I brushed my teeth in the shower. <laughs> To save time. Didn't let that conditioner <laughs> sink in. Yeah, no, no, no shampoo, no conditioner. No repeat. Just no rinse, repeat. lather. No, I probably didn't even wash behind my ears. Um, <laughs> and, you know, got dressed, went outside. There had been a snowstorm. I cleared the snow out, drove over. <laughs> you shovel your walkway first? Well, yeah. I don't want to slip and fall when I get back home. So, <laughs> Picked up the paper. <laughs> flipped, flipped over did the Sudoku before I leave because I can't do anything Pick without Pick up those the scratch Sudoku. tickets you've been wanting to get. Uh, Check your oil. <laughs> Make sure was, the vehicle makes no, my, it. My check engine light was on, and so I dropped by the garage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I hopped in the car, drove over to see Leonard. And he was waiting outside, which made me feel like maybe I didn't need to take that shower. Um, <laughs> <laughs> clutching, <laughs> clutching his chest. He was. Uh, well, it was more of his abdomen. <laughs> but uh, he hopped in the car. I was like, I stopped. And I was like, should I help him? And he got in, so I didn't unbuckle or anything. And <laughs> you then, didn't even. Right. <laughs> you shifted, you you shifted your body so to much be polite. Worse. And <laughs> just like, oh, he's got well, it. He, he looked like he had it. I don't want to insult the man. Um, and uh, he got in. We drove. I asked him to describe the pain for me. He said it was like a. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, when you're on the phone with, with all of the a hospital, sudden, he or... gives a shit. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> or maybe it's just that serial killer thing where you're like, describe the pain for me. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I want to hear about your suffering. <laughs> what is that like? Oh, that's so awful. <laughs> um, and I was driving like. You know, I was driving properly. I wasn't speeding. I don't speed. Um, and, uh, <laughs> no, no circumstance. <laughs> I, I basically don't. I don't do it. Um, and uh, uh, after he described the pain to me, I just wanted to figure out what was going on with him. You know, how urgent this is. <laughs> you um, you had to figure out if you needed to be and get there. your oil changed. <laughs> Yeah, it was like, well, well, like you got a, you got a tummy ache, or what's going on here? Why am I driving you? Um, and uh, it was, it was, he said uh, uh, he he couldn't sleep last night because he had this terrible pain in his in his gut, and uh, he said that right now it felt like he was being uh, poked up the ass with a hot poker. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh shit, that sounds awful. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, not realizing that you know the roads are so bad, every bump is making things worse. Um, we got to the hospital. I stopped. I got out. I was right open the door for him, but he was already out and going like, "Get out of here. Go home. Go wash your ears. <laughs> Back of those go, ears. Go wash behind your ears." It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like he was already like, "I'm okay. I've got someone meeting me here. Uh, you know, I'll want someone in the family's gonna let you know what happened." All right, go home. <laughs> I went home, had a coffee, played some video games, probably. And then, uh, you know, heard from uh, Tito and Angela a little bit later. They're all very grateful, not knowing that I took a shower. And... <laughs> took the car to get the brakes changed. <laughs> now this, the title came to me. It's called Pet Match. Okay. Now if you see a pet match doc, if you see an ad for petmatch.com or hear a radio spot, and maybe they don't announce what it is, what do you think a pet match is going to be? It's either, it's either. Okay, I, I've got a, I've got a stupid guess, and I've got my real guess. All right. So my real guess is that it will match up um, prospective pet owners with pets. Okay. Um, you know, I'm looking for a hamster. Where they got on pet match? Oh, there's a hamster near me that's looking for a home. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good. Um, the stupid even. idea is uh, uh, animal-themed matches to light <laughs> candles. <laughs> it's like you know, it's a, like a little elephant. And you kind of you burn his the end of his his trunk to light a candle, yeah. and he all burns up. Both of these seem feasible. And maybe it could be like one of those birthday candles. So like instead of going like, it would be like, <laughs> when you light them up. What? You don't have that kind of technology. 
Don't we? To burn? Don't if we can make if we can make 